Hey everybody, Pastor Bill here with a couple thoughts for you from scripture today. The first thing I wanna do is ask you a question. What is your worth? What do you think is your value? And what standard are you using to determine what your value is? If it's some changing standard, like what people have said about you or what you think about yourself or how you feel on social media, or if it's anything that's not based on an unchanging standard, then you can't trust it at all. So what can you trust? Well, of course you can trust the word of God and what God says about your value. You see, we have two very definitive statements about your value and your worth, given by the unchanging standard of the word of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, the apostle Paul says, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you that you have from God? And you are not your own. You were bought at a price. Now, I know in our culture, anybody says that you're not your own, you're going to take immediate offense to that. But there's a much greater and a much grander plan for us than us being our own. It's not much of a big deal to you if I'm my own and vice versa. But it is a big deal to learn what the Bible means about us not being our own. We were bought at a price. And the fact that we are bought at a price means that there's a value attached to us. And here comes that unchanging value, that, that worth, that statement of our worth that can never alter based on mood or social media or people's opinions of us. And where do we find that from? Well, it's in 1 Peter chapter 1, where the Apostle Peter talks about our redemption and how we came back to God. It's when, when Paul says you were bought at a price, the Apostle Peter adds to that, you were not redeemed from this world with corruptible things like silver and gold, now imagine saying that about our money. That's our value, our wealth, silver and gold. It says it's corruptible stuff. It says, but you were redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. It took nothing short of blood to buy you back. And it's not my blood or any person's blood that bought you back. It had to be the precious blood of the Savior, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So you are not your own. You were bought at a price. You're worth more than being your own. You're actually God's. And now that you're God's precious possession, that he had to buy back from the prince of the power of this air, the devil himself, and he bought it back with what not silver or gold could have possibly have done for us. He bought you back with the precious blood of his own son, the son of his love. So that's who you are and that's what your worth is. And so I hope that means something to you today, Christian. And God bless you, and we'll see you next time.